So this is part two. We've already found the components. Now we're going to go ahead and find the time. So I'm going to write the five variables in the y direction. y minus y naught. Acceleration, initial velocity, time, and v final in the y. Remember, you do this just in the y or just in the x, no mixing. Okay? So I'm doing this for the y direction. It, for displacement, which is a vector, you start here and you go down 12 meters. So this is a negative 12 meters. Uh, acceleration the y, uh, we have it right here, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Initial velocity in the y, we already found it. Component, negative 3 meters per second. Time, don't know, so I'm trying to find. And the final on the y, don't know. We'll eventually try to find that as well. Okay. So for this first one, I don't care about v final. So I pick my equation, y minus y naught equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. Plug in negative 12 meters equals negative 3 meters per second times t plus one half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times t squared. At this point, it's a quadratic. So you get zero on one side and your stuff on the other for sake of clarity. Remember, you have to have this initialed if you do this on the test. I am going to rewrite it without the units so that you can see the math or see the quadratic a little bit more clearly. 3t minus 12 equals zero. So I multiplied these two together and then I added this to both sides and added this to both sides. So move the 4.9t squared over, 3t minus 12. You could have moved the 12 over as well. At this point, solve it probably graphically is the easiest. If you want to use the quadratic, you can. The quadratic equation, this would be A, this would be B, and this would be your C. And you'll get T of approximately 1.3 seconds. All right. At that point, you can figure out how far it goes in the X. So X minus X naught equals VXT. This is the only equation you ever need in the X direction if... There's no acceleration. How far equals how fast times how long. Or in this case, displacement equals velocity times time. The velocity in the x direction never changes. So the entire, because there's no acceleration, the entire time the velocity in the x is 5.19. So I'm going to plug that in. 5.19 meters per second times a time of 1.3 seconds. And I will get, uh, what did I get? 6.76 meters about. There's the final answer for that. 6.76 meters. So we've answered the how far from the base of the cliff, but now it also asks how fast is he traveling right before the ground. I'm going to erase a bunch of this. And let's get rid of this. And let's get, we can keep this. Okay. So how fast right before he hits the ground? Well, if we look at our picture here, right before he hits the ground, he's traveling down and to the right. So there's a V final in the X, and there's a V final in the Y. And a lot of people have asked, but which one did you, do you want? Well, if it says how fast, you want the whole thing. You want this number here. So you have to find V final X, which we've already done, because it doesn't change. But we need to find V final Y, and then we have to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared to get the actual how fast right before he hits the ground. Okay, So let's go ahead and do this again, except for now we don't care about time. All right. So I'm going to pick my equation. v final squared equals v naught y squared plus 2a times y minus y naught. Pick the equation. Plug and chug. We're looking for v final y squared. So v final y squared will equal negative 3 meters per second squared. The initial velocity in the y, it's just the component we found earlier at the beginning, plus 2 times negative 9.8 times y minus y naught. When you solve that, you should get v final of 15.6 meters per second. And you'd put a plus or minus mathematically when you take the square root of both sides. But V final on the Y is going down, so I'm going to pick the negative answer. So that's an intermediate step. That is not the final answer. 
Okay. Now what we need to do, and I'm going to erase again, I'm going to erase these. Now what we need to do is figure out what B final is. So we've got B final in the X. The X part is 5.19. That never changed for the whole trip. There's no acceleration. And whoop, not the best picture. And V final Y is 15.6 meters per second down. Tail to tip, we're looking for this. Now it's the Pythagorean theorem. So V final will equal 5.19 meters per second squared plus 15.6 meters per second squared, or V final will equal 16.4 meters per second. That's the how fast. If you wanted the direction, you could either find this angle if you've had trig, or you could just say 16.4 meters per second down and to the right. This is the direction that it's going. That's it for problem one, part two.